Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, MAF, and the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA, have identified protected agriculture technology as one of the major planks towards the improvement of agricultural productivity and the sustainable production of selected vegetable crops. It has been demonstrated that with the application of best management practices, protected agricultural crop production can be several fold more productive and profitable per unit area of land when compared to open field crop production. The potential profitability and attractiveness of protected agricultural production has generated much enthusiasm among many new entrants and existing farmers embracing greenhouse vegetable crop production. There are now over 120 farmers involved in greenhouse horticulture spread over 12 parishes island-wide. Notwithstanding the potential high yields and profitability of greenhouse farming, greenhouses are subject to the vagaries of weather systems and other external factors affecting crop production. Hurricanes and tropical storms are probably the most important external factors adversely affecting greenhouse crop production. Because of Jamaica's location within the hurricane belt, there is a very high probability of hurricanes affecting the country during the annual hurricane season. Hurricanes and tropical storms can be very unpredictable, so it is the responsibility of greenhouse farmers to ensure that they are adequately prepared to handle such occurrences. The heavy winds produced by storms and hurricanes can cause extensive damage to greenhouse structures and crop plants. Huge investments in both the cost of greenhouse structures and the establishment and maintenance of crops are therefore at high risk whenever a storm or hurricane threatens Jamaica. It is therefore very important for farmers to adhere to the necessary precautionary measures that help to minimize the amount of damage a hurricane will cause and this will in turn make it easier to resume production once the storm has passed. Here are some general precautionary measures to take when setting up a greenhouse. The greenhouse should be built on a site that is protected from heavy winds and not prone to flooding. Ensure that you use durable metallic materials when building. It is recommended that you use double hot dipped galvanized steel pipes of minimum 2 inch diameter and at least 2 millimeters in thickness. These have been proven to be much more durable than wood or plastic in withstanding tropical weather systems. Avoid using steel pipes with welded joints as this creates points of weakness that may buckle under the stress of very high winds. Use high-grade commercial quality steel nuts, bolts, brackets, braces and bushings to connect the structural joints. Use locking profile devices to attach the polyethylene roofing and screen netting sidewall materials to the structure. This will allow for the quick removal of cladding materials on the approach of a hurricane and reattachment thereafter without damaging the fabrics. Using growing containers such as grow bags, polyethylene bags, plastic containers or Dutch buckets makes it easier to remove plants from the greenhouse whenever a hurricane threatens and for them to be securely stored and returned to the greenhouse once the hurricane has passed. Where possible, a covered storage space should be acquired. A concrete roofed building or a used shipping container will work just fine. This may be used for the storage of plants, plastic, netting, seedling trays, irrigation pumps, injectors and filters during the passage of the hurricane in order to minimize water, wind and debris damage. Be sure to create trenches and drains around the structure to facilitate the rapid removal of waste water from the vicinity of the greenhouse. If these general precautions are adhered to, then you are already on your way to protecting your investment and minimizing the damage that may occur in the event of a hurricane. There is still more to be done when the actual hurricane season comes around though. You might find it easier to create a checklist. This will ensure that everything you need is accounted for and you are adequately prepared when the hurricane makes landfall. When you hear that a hurricane is headed for Jamaica, constantly monitor its track and get all the information you can. This will be integral in deciding the steps you will need to take to protect your greenhouse structure and your plants.
Get a team of persons together who will be able to quickly remove the polyethylene plastic and netting from around the greenhouse if it becomes necessary. Reap and store all ripe and green mature fruits. Tomatoes should be reaped just before they start getting ripe. Sweet pepper must be reaped in green and color. All mature lettuce should be harvested and marketed as soon as possible due to their short shelf life. Ensure that the fuel pump or generator is in good working order to provide power for irrigation and other systems after the passage of the hurricane since electricity may not be restored immediately. As soon as the meteorological office announces that the hurricane will be a direct hit, crops growing in bags or pots should be removed to protected storage until the hurricane passes, if such facilities exist. Seedlings in trays can be easily stored inside a house or storeroom. Where no protected storage exists or where crops are grown in the soil, the plants should be removed from the trestling system and laid flat on the ground and covered with waterproof plastic material. The fertile irrigation system should be dismantled and removed to safe storage awaiting the passage of the storm. Water tanks should be filled or removed to a protected area. If there are large trees next to the greenhouse structures, they should be pruned. Ensure that adequate stocks of pesticide, plastic, netting, seeds, and soluble fertilizers are maintained in order to repair damage and to get back into production as quickly as possible once the hurricane has passed. Contact the members of your team and prepare to remove the plastic and mess cladding from the greenhouse. How to dismantle a greenhouse it is of utmost importance that the plastic roofing and side meshing be removed before the passage of a hurricane. If they are not, they will provide resistance to the wind and may result in severe damage to the structure. If they are removed, however, the wind will be able to freely flow through the structure, minimizing any damage that may occur. The removal of the cladding from the greenhouse is very easy to do. The tools you will need depend on the type of locking profile that was used to secure it when the house was erected. If the wiggle wire locking system was used, then your team will only need ladders to facilitate them getting onto the roof of the house. The wiggle wire locking profile can be easily removed with just the hands, so no tools are needed. However, workmen must be very careful so that the material is not damaged in the process. If the material was secured by the PVC locking profile, then the team will need flathead screwdrivers in addition to the ladders to complete the task. The team starts the removal at the corners of the roof using the screwdriver to lift the edges of both the female and male sections of the locking profile. It can then be easily removed with the hands. Once all the locking profiles have been removed, the side walls will collapse and the netting can be secured. It will not be totally removed from the house as it is anchored into the ground. However, you still need to secure it to prevent it from being damaged by the hurricane. The netting should be rolled as small as possible and weighed down with heavy objects such as wood planks and huge stones. The plastic from the roof is to be totally removed and either be folded for storage or it can be used to cover plants if they are not being removed from the greenhouse. When all the material removed from the house and plants and other valuable items removed for storage or properly covered, there's nothing more to do but wait for the passage of the hurricane. Once the hurricane has passed, your objective should be to resume full production as soon as possible. Make a damage evaluation of the farm, including structures, plants, equipment, and land in general. Then, arrange your team quickly to restore the structure, reinstall the plastic, netting, and growing containers with plants to enable a speedy return to production. The fertile irrigation structure, tanks, pumps, injectors, ponds, and water lines should be restored immediately to allow the plants to receive adequate nutrition as soon as possible after the hurricane's passage. An application of a broad-spectrum fungicide and insecticide cocktail should be done to protect the plants against disease organisms that might be blown in with the winds and to speed up the process of recovery.